Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am your host, commentator, and general sarcastic asshole, White Tiger. When we last left off, we had just finished the chapter and we're going through some end stuff. But since there's some gear upgrade stuff here, and this is an intimidating enough menu that the already running long episode for recording wise, so we're starting here. An odd place to start, I know, but hey, I thought you might want to hear me ramble about weapons and shit. I have a very basic idea of what's going on here. Okay, so let's go over what I see here and what we have. Each character here has listed off what we can and cannot uh, mess around with. For most of uh, the people, we have a secondary offhand. My two warriors have four categories, but Talithia, who is missing one of her hands, is down one. I think there should be a way to upgrade her hook, but not just me. However, May, who we advanced the uh, transformations of, no longer has weaponry, she only has armor, which is an interesting thing. I do like this customization system. As for uh, resources that we currently have, we have four ingots, five heartwood, four hides, four fabric, and eight spell thread. I had been wondering what all that shit meant, and now I know. So we can see what the armors down the line will look like, because we've got two tier above us right now. So. Obviously, I want everyone at at least tier 1. So everyone will have tier 1 before I move on to upgrading anything else. So based on everything, I need better weapon for Silly, preferably better armor for Talithia. But I will also need new armor for Isla. We just lost a bit of speed, so I don't want to lose too much speed. But I'm not sure what speed affects. Let's actually quickly check. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to look anything up, but I do want to know about the stats. So I'm making an exception to figure out what the stats do. Um, Overland titles, don't care about that. Weapons. Uh, okay, so axes shred armor on hit, spears have extra range, swords have increased block and accuracy, maces knock back the enemy and deal extra damage, and daggers do double damage when flanking. Interfuse, okay, yeah, I know about that. Okay, gray plane can enter the gray plane to become invisible, except for when enemies are walked directly into them or searches near them. Okay, so that explains why the Gorgon was able to see me. And attacks from the Grey Plane ignore armor. So, okay, yeah, that is a useful thing. Uh, okay, cover, action points, whaling, flanking, movement, camera. So, that doesn't uh, tell me any, at all what I wanted to know. Okay, no, that wasn't either. either. I'm just gonna drop down a save here. Before I do anything, I want to make sure I have a save just in case this goes horrifyingly wrong. Um. Okay, so it doesn't tell me that, which sort of annoys me. Okay, so that gives me plus two armor, but my speed, but this gives me more dodge. Well. Uh, I don't know what speed is. Her current one gives me 0.5 armor plus 5 dodge. This gives me minus 2 speed but plus 2 to dodge armor for most stationary marksmen. For the purposes of roaming the wilds, the somewhat haphazardous assembly of furs and light fabrics won't stop many arrows but provides a great deal of mobility that ought not to go underestimated. Well, she's already down speed, so let's just buckle down into that. Let's make her a ballista rather than an archer. Oh, I can name it. Let's uh, have some fun. Archer V-neck. Because it's a V-neck and it's an archer's outfit. All right, so crossbow. Okay, so this is the base stats of the bow. I lose some range, 
Ooh, but that eats the rest of my stuff. That'll also eat a lot of my stuff. So, I'm curious as to that. When it says ranged accuracy, like, does it say it, when it says that it's my range is 6.6, does that mean I can only fire at that distance? Uh, what are my throwing knives? Okay, so this says my range is up. Oh, never mind. Decreases my range. That also decreases my range. But by less of a margin. Ah, uh, so it's just my cap range, it seems. But it gives me more accuracy. Eh. I, I just like the name Cherry Howl. What's this one? The Star Arc. Cherry Owl, and I've always been a fan of... I like uh, the name Cherry Owl. Oh, I can scroll through the names. That's a cool thing. That's a neat little trick. Jade Price, Dark Price, Phantom Fell, Dark Snap, Crimson Price, Thorn Striker, The Dark Snap, Adler Song, Stone Hunter, Jade Striker, Red Bark Weaver. Ooh, I do like that. That's just a nice name. Okay. Stats be damned, I don't give a shit. I want the weapon. Okay, so you're going to need a tier one weapon. Axes shred armor. Um, great axe. I get increased damage. So hammers knock them back, axes shred armor. So axes are good, but hammers give me knockback. But that doesn't really do much. It's not like I can knock them off the map, so. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Just want to double check. Yeah. Let's see what uh, we can look forward to. Oh, not bad. Okay. That's all good. Ona volunteered her free days deciphering the epi script. Chris. The epi. Chris. Christ. I don't know how to call it. We're just going to call it the die. The dice from now on. It is now the epi die. If this is true, it hasn't always gone smoothly, and progress has dripped along slowly. The meanings of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in her research slides into place. It's not the value, but the perception of. And she can now guess where her enemies might be. It explains why we have had a few years of relative peace. No, you're not getting it. Let me put it more simply. Imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you do? Well, first thing I do is make sure that I have the financial support and the support basis. You need the support structure first. Raise an army? <laughs> <laughs> wow, bravo. 10 out of 10 intellect there, bitch. I suppose I'd offer some kind of reward. Coin, food, land. Right. An army out of just normal folks. A symbol. You'd want a symbol to rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. Ah. So we're going with, you know, help me help yourself angle here. Okay, uh, the face marking keeps changing sides. So you're saying our Ulstrix master of the Gorgons needs this thing. What is it? Some kind of divine spear? A symbol to help convince the other Gorgons to follow it? Yes, that's what I believe. And what does it need to do? Why does it need the spear? Or why does it need the support of others like it? What is Ulstrix? You do realize I was working off a rock, don't you? To be fair, she has had very little to go on. I was able to find records of other Epidies, the rubbings, that were my first clue. An epi die is like an ancient storytelling device. A way of telling a time-honored myth. But maybe in a different order or fashion. That's what I think. And, but, anyway. Sorry, I was getting swept up. Oh, so that's, you, like a multiple choice choose your own adventure die. You know, you roll it to make the decisions of the choose your own adventure books. 
I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. And you know that tall tale? That kind of poem or song in some places? The Queen of the Seas? No, but get to the point. Every, uh... Hulk-type character ever just... Urgh, let me smash! Our stone tells almost the same story. Almost. And according to our version, the spear was laid to rest in a named cavern. It's on one of our maps. So that gives us an advantage, right? We know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. It seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused and we couldn't stop them. But this time, we're ready, aren't we? It's time to pay back our debts. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. Oh, joy. Investigate uh, Lady Blight Altar. 355 days left. Clear Gorgon sites to get more time. These mounds are impassable. Okay, so where would be the best route? We'll do one uh, battle and then call it. Oh. There's... We'll actually probably just do this. Okay, um... We'll have those three go there, and then we'll scout here. Let's see. New recruit. No. have a we have an archer uh, gear nothing terribly great uh, does this tell me anything no it doesn't tell me anything. aspects Okay, cool, I can change the colors. Let's fiddle around with this. Ooh, I actually like that. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, let's see. Speed, in combat, the maximum distance slash tiles a hero can move in a single action. Also used to calculate the movement rate on the Orlando lap. Oh, okay, so that's what speed does. Okay. Recovery rate, one health per three to five, three to six days. Recruitment, retirement age. Oh, okay, so apparently that's what happened. Oh, so I could re-roll these if I wanted. Oh, cool, that's not bad. Uh... Oh, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Um... Compassionate Greed Wagon. Aspects. Oh yeah, this is actually interesting. Yeah, cool. There's so many things I can do with these. That's interesting. Yeah, I like that. I have plenty of legacy points. And we barely escaped that fight with our ears still attached. Wow. Tiger Force seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, probably. But I mean, one of the characters is missing a hand, so. And I nearly got the other ones killed, so. Yeah, I think um, it, it's a bit dangerous to be in my group. Oh, it is. That's the best part. Right. South May. Well, you haven't scared me off yet. I'm glad. We really do need the extra help. Now, about that salary. I do like her. Uh, there's no salary. What? Uh, how? 
Oh, of course, you work on commission. No. Um, what? There's no- that's not a thing we have. Ha. Inns generally give you a discount. Okay. There's the thrill of discovery and adventure. You get that for free. I just love the look it gave in here. Like, this would be my look, because it's like, uh, really? No, I, I'm not risking my ass for no money. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Th there we go. That's much better. Oh, anything good? Oh, yeah, just the other week we found this, some crazy ruby thing wedged into Gorgons. Okay, okay. I'm in. I'm actually curious as to where it was wedged. Do they have an asshole? Oh, right, I could just train them here. Yeah, I'm gonna select her for a hunter, because we could... Yeah, we could use another hunter. Aha! Her bright purple hair blends perfectly into the background. And... Scout. Ah! That is not what I intended to do. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to scope this plane. And see what happens. Oh, uh, Sumaya is now a Greenhorn Hunter. That's a rogue. Every time she gets a kill under this gray plane, nope. Um, range attacks have one pierce. So pierce plus one potency, so that's more damage. Through shot. Eh, we'll try through shot on her. See what it does. Uh, we'll build a bridge here. Good use of fall helps people travel, helps us. I'm sure it'll spur a bit of growth around the area. Yeah. Let's get started. Oh, this is less than ideal. Okay, that one's been revealed. Okay, uh, so we're actually going to end it right here. So, good night, farewell, Alvida's And may the road always rise to meet your feet.